Welcome to Scooby Club. Today we are learning the butterfly stitch. We will also show you how to add the clips to each end in case you would like to use this to secure your mask. For this project, you will need two strands of Scooby, about 60 inches, two beads, and two clips. The first thing you'll do is to stack your strands of Scooby together where the ends are matched up. Feed the tails through one bead and then through the hole on your clip. You'll want to slide the bead and the clip down about three inches from the top. From here, you'll fold your Scooby over and feed it back into the bead to secure it. Once you've done that, you'll want to slide the bead up as close to the clip as possible. This will help it to be more tight and secure. From here, you'll take your left strand and make a loop. Then take your right strand, go behind the project and over the top. Take a look at how that should look. Now make a loop with the right strand and just slide it in to the first loop you made. And then in our case, we're gonna pull down on the pink strand to secure the yellow loop. So if you've done this correctly, it should look something like this. If it takes a couple tries, don't be alarmed. So now we're ready for the next step and you can see we're just tightening it up a little bit. So next we want to make a loop with the pink just by folding it and slide that into the yellow. Then we'll pull down on the yellow or whatever color you have to secure that pink loop. And it should be something like that. Then we'll do the same with the yellow loop Pull down on the pink to secure it. And we'll do a few more stitches so that you can watch to see how it should look. Once you've completed most of the stitches, your project should look something like this. And you want to make one last loop and then put the opposite color strand through the loop to tie off the project. If you want to, you can also do an overhead knot, but at this point the project is secure. From here, you'll match up your ends. They should be close in length and then feed the tails through a bead again, just like we did at the beginning, and also through the hole in your clasp or your clip. And you'll wanna make sure your clips are uh, facing the same way as the first clip, if that makes sense. And then double back through the bead to secure the clasp. And again, you'll want to just tighten that up. So from here, you would tie one or two simple knots just to tie off the project and tie them pretty tight and they will not 
really show. If you'd like to, after tying, you can put your tails back through the bead if you can make them fit. Otherwise, you can just cut them off and consider putting a little dot of craft glue in case you're worried about it coming undone. This part is optional. So just trim off the little excess. You can should also go back to the first end and trim any extra bits that are there. And you'll see there I fed them back through the bead um, to help keep them secure. All right, so the project is done. If you'd like to use this to help with your mask, you simply just put uh, the clips onto the mask elastic or straps, and then you can wear that around your neck to keep your mask secure. Thank you for watching.